No arrests or leads after one long year. That is the alarming case in Rainier Valley today, exactly one year after a mass shooting at a grocery store parking lot. It happened at the Safeway store along Rainier Avenue South, where five people were shot. And as Como's Ryan Sims reports, the lack of arrests in this case have caused even more worry for people there. Hurt while helping others. That was the case for the King County Boys and Girls Club, as two of their workers were among those wounded during this mass shooting a year ago. And the healing has continued um, because you just don't forget about something like this. Marty Jackson is the executive director of the King County Boys and Girls Club. Following this shooting, she says she seriously considered canceling future outreach events in this parking lot. Yet she says her workers refuse to let this violence ruin their mission. This is the whole reason why we do this, right? And so I commend them um, for their bravery, for the courage to come back out, for the passion they have. The result, outreach events still happening here every Friday, all as crime spikes. Como pulled the numbers. Compared to this time a year ago, we learned that robberies in Rainier Beach are up 25%, while assaults have spiked 19% giving people here a lingering sense of fear. You don't want to bring your kids down because you're afraid something's going to happen to them. I grew up here um, and I've moved back in the last six years or so, and it's never been this way. It wasn't this way when I was growing up. This upcoming week, Como learned that there will be a brief ceremony in this parking lot to honor the victims who were shot. The good news is that each one of those five victims eventually made a full recovery. The team decided this is why we do this. This is an it was important work to them and um, they made a choice to come back. Got to mention this too. We did reach out to SPD seeing just what the story is with regard to the suspects. If they have anybody in mind, we emailed them, have not heard back. So we will try again tomorrow. Coming to you from Rainier Valley, Ryan Sims, come on news. Ryan, uh, after what you did there, we took a closer look at gun violence in Seattle. The city's crime dashboard tracks citywide shootings and shots fired. Now, the year-to-date total since the last update at the end of May shows that there have been this, 368 shootings in the city this year. You can compare that to 336 shootings that happened at the same time last year. That is a 10% increase from 23 to 2024. And then take a look in 2022, there were 363 reported shootings at this time two years ago.